hi welcome back to my channel and my name is monica today in this video i am going to tell you how you can create your own lms learning management system in confluence and it is very easy you can create your own courses you can create your own quizzes and can create your end-to-end -end lms solution how i will do it for this you will need this app this is izi lms for confluence courses quizzes and forms i will give a overview about this app and i will explain how you will use this app perfectly you can say it it is added because i have already installed this app in my confluence but for you how you will do it you will go to the marketplace or you can just simply click on the app icon click on find new apps you will be in this page and then just search the app izi and you will find this app you can simply click here and you will get our options to start it free here but right now i have added it and it is showing me get started and the other options to configure app and the manage app now when i will click in the config app then it will come to the confluence setting and here in the setting you can see at the bottom we have the setting for the lms creation restriction what is the meaning of the creation restriction by default this app allow all the users can create and administer courses and quizzes but you can set the restrictions to only a specific groups and users with the help of this creation restriction setting when you will install this app completely then you will be able to find this icon under the apps menu you will click on the apps and then you can see we have the learning option here when i will click in this learning it will redirect me to this learning dashboard and here i have two views one for the participant and the another for the creator and you can switch between these two profiles with the help of this button right now i am on the participants screen and if you want to switch to the creator then you can do with the help of this switch to creator button this is just like a udemy if you are an instructor on udemy then you have a options to change your profile from student to instructor and from instructor to udemy this is similar just like that here i have the my courses section where you can see i have the courses name progress about the courses enrollment date and time study date and time completed and how much time is spent and i can continue with the task or i can take this quiz this is a quiz basically and that's why it's showing take i can discover but right now there is no kind of a self enrollment thing i done that's why it's showing me no courses for the self enrollment at this moment because the confluence admin didn't give any kind of a permissions to the self enrollment when i will click to the my quizzes i have the categories here to pass completed and in review to pass it will show the quizzes that you have uh, that you have to pass and it is completed it will show the list of the quizzes that you have already completed and uh, the in review quizzes will be in this section this is a kind of a overview about the participant dashboards now we will switch to the creator dashboard for this i will click on switch to creator and here i am on the creator dashboard i can see the courses i can see the quizzes i have options to create the course i have options to create the quiz and again i can switch to the participant if i want to click on the quizzes again it is giving me the list of the quizzes and i have uh, options to export the reports of the courses and quizzes now i will go and create the course because this is very interesting thing how you can create your course and how you can create your quiz then only this app will complete the solution of learning management system I will click on create course and it will ask me about the spaces. I can create my course under the space. This one, this is the space that I have already created and it will select a parent page automatically. Then I will hit the next button. It will ask me to give a name of the course. Let's suppose the course name is course 4 and this is about the confluence course yes and i will hit the create button 
the course has been created and now it is giving a options to add the course content i will click on add the course content and it will redirect me to the course administrator page where i have a options to add the content in my course i have a options to add the section i can add the section and under the section i can add the modules like page quiz and score now i will explore the other settings here like we can add the sections and we have the settings to add the course image and add the reminder you can set the one time reminder or recurring reminder we have the options to issue a certificate after the completion of the course you can toggle between yes and no and we have some enrollment setting Uh, they are providing the self enrollment but self enrollment is disabled until you will not add the modules to this courses you can do it and you can do the setting of the auto enrollment as well we have the other things like once your participant will start to enrolling into the course then the details about the participant will be here you can see the list of the participants about the informations progress and the results in this section now we'll go back to the content and i will add a section sections will be uh, what is confluence and then i will save it now i will add the module here let's suppose i'll add a page i can search the existing page or i can create a new page let's suppose if i will search the existing one then i will write the name and then choose the page from here you can see under the section what is confluence we have a module name is page and the name of the page is what is agile and its principle i can create multiple if i want to create the quiz then i can but the quiz i will explain in the next section now i will come and add the more section here let's suppose the section is self assessment and then again i will hit to save and i will add the quiz now the interesting part is about the quiz you can create a new quiz or you can search from existing one type a quiz name to use as a module and i will add a quiz as a module you can create a new quiz or you can type a quiz name to use as a module i will create a new one let's suppose the module name will be my confluence assessment i will hit next and now the quiz has been added to my course and i can add the questions in the quiz this is my quiz administration page where i can create my question in the quiz i can explore the settings and results as well you can see there is a kind of information about the restriction of the page you can read like page is restricted to me and igi lms for confluence and lms for confluence app user it must remain in a page restriction for quizzes to work properly it means you cannot remove this permission from here let me show you here you cannot remove it if you really want like quiz works perfectly in your course i will click cancel and here i will come and i will add my first question but before creating my first question i will go to the setting and here i can see i can write the description i can set the pass target i can set the number of attempts random rise questions skipping questions results after the each questions i have lot of settings and which are really good for quiz and when i will come to the result once you enroll participant to the quiz this section will show a list of participants and information about their progress and results now we'll come to the question and i will create my question they are giving like you can add the existing questions as well but here i will create my new you can type the questions let's suppose what is confluence again sorry i'm using this question again and again but it is just for the testing or a demo perspective here i have the type of the questions i can make it single multiple true false or free text let's suppose it will be a multiple choice and you can randomize the answer to if you will click on this check box i will add my answer here my answer will be a collaborative tool i can add or a fun whatever you want to add this 
then I have to select a checkbox or checkboxes to make the correct answer. Let's suppose a collaborative tool and then I will hit to create. And here I have created first question of my quiz. I can add multiple question. Here is the option. You can go and create more question. Let me create one more. Let's suppose what is Jira and then I can choose again multiple choice randomize answer and I want to what is Jira could be a bug tracking a bug tracking and it could be a project management tool or nothing I will choose these two options correct and then create Oh, it is saying what is Jira question is already exist. Maybe I have created in the another question. So let us see what is Jira and click up anyway, and then just create. And here I have created the two questions under my quiz confluence assessment. Here is the part of the enrollment and, and there are the multiple ways, basically the three ways for the enrollment. You can enroll the external participant as well. I like this enrollment feature of this app because just you have to enter the external participant email ID and that particular person can take the assessment. Here when you will click then you can simply enter the email address of a person and just enroll. This is the one option. Now the second option when you will click on the enroll you will have the options you can type the name or a group it means you can create any group and can give the permission here to take the assessment you can enroll the complete group or you can type a single name this is the second option that you can use for the enrollment. Here I will go and enroll myself first so that you can have a look how it look like let's suppose let me yes and i will enroll myself successfully enroll one participant and participant will also receive an email notification with the link of the quiz this is perfect so i can click close and here i will come and attempt the quiz i will click on learning and this is my dashboard as an participant i will go into my quizzes and here I have the confluence assessment and options to take it. When I will click on take, it will open a confluence assessment page and it is saying this quiz include two questions, right? We have added the two questions in this quiz. To pass it, you need to answer all questions correctly because I have already set this target, pass target and you have one attempt. Yes, I will click on start quiz and it will take a few seconds to load your question. What is confluence? A collaborative tool, submit the answer. And what is Jira and click up a project management or a bug tracking tool and submit the answer and it will say congratulations you have successfully passed the quiz. So this is the way you can create your quiz. Now we will go back to our course where we were adding the quiz and the section of the pages here. And now what I will do I'll just want to tell you one more thing. When you create a page, when you create a quiz, then it will be here in your page tree. You can see I have created the course for and under the course for I have the confluence assessment because I have used already created page in the first section. But in the next section, I have created my confluence assessment. So it will be like the child pages here in the page tree. You can go and have a look even you will find out the question of the quiz here it means this app will create the pages just like you create in the confluence so this is very easy to understand and it is very easy to use so this is the way you can create your courses and under the courses you can create your quizzes as well if you want to create your course and quiz separately then you can this is giving our options to you you can do it it's up to your requirements so this is a interesting app that i have recently used and i really wanted to tell my viewers and my subscribers so that they can also take a benefit of this app and if you really want to know the more features you can go to the support and just check their documentation they wrote very beautiful documentations just check their features and try to use 
you can take the benefit of this app only if you will install it and try to use it on your confluence that's all for this video i would request you please share this video so that other people also can understand how you can create your learning management system in confluence thank you for watching this video have a great day